The lively browsers are from Ellesmere Port. Mum Ronnie has been with husband Phil for 28 years. They live with seven of their eight children. Faye, 22. Jordan, 16. 14-year-old twins, Shannon and Aisha. 11-year-old Savannah. 8-year-old Star. And baby Jay, age 2. The strict Gelden family live in Exeter. Mum Raquel married her teenage sweetheart John six months ago, and they have two children, Tyson seven and Reese five. Ronnie and Raquel have agreed to swap lifestyles and homes for two weeks to see what they can their liberal mum's rules. Shut up! Don't start shouting at me. Don't try and shout me down. John, little one. If you want me to start shouting, I will do. How does a husband react when he finds out what his wife really thinks of him? This is how she feels. If it is, Listen. then she should get a bloody divorce. I just want to end the whole thing. I'm not happy. But anyway, stop filming. And will the wives see eye to eye when they finally meet? Categorically, I don't want mending up like yours. Staying up all hours of the night. You dare, lady! You wow. dare. Right, boys. Spoon and forks at the table. Are they done? Almost, almost. And they're not allowed to drink till they've eaten half of it. Dinner time. Young couple John and Raquel Gelden have a unique approach to parenting. And for you, what do you say, boys? Thank you. You discipline and bring your children up just like you do with dogs. Just wait there. You don't know what's coming, do you? Could have been hit by a bicycle, anything. Uh, they're extremely similar to children. Mm. They love food. Yeah. They love love and being aff affectionate and, and, and caring for them, um, and they don't like pain. If we get a smack, it's good. It's a good order. I've asked you to go and tidy your room, Reese, haven't I? So you can do your homework in a moment. Rules are big in the Gelden household, with John and Raquel equally as strict with their family already. planning. I was 24 when I was sterilised because we can't afford any more children in our current situation and um, we can't see it getting any better. See you later. John works most evenings as a chef, leaving Raquel in charge of the home and the kids. Yeah, housework is my saviour in a way. It keeps me sane, it keeps me active. When the kids go to bed at half past seven, um, it is just... I don't think John understands how lonely I get at home on my own. And I'm too scared to really bring it up with him. Hi. Ah. <gasps> Baby, be careful! With no structure and discipline for seven kids, Ronnie and Phil Browse's house is boisterous. I'm having the laundry, mate. Not allowed it. Not to do it, pretend you are. Yeah. <gasps> Even Rocky the dog has an asthma. <laughs> It's quite organised chaos, to be honest with you. And I don't mind it being organised chaos. You can't eat them like that. Or maybe watch TV and eat. And there are no fixed bedtimes either. Two-year-old Jay is often up until midnight. It's down to giving them a choice. If they're tired one day, they can go to bed early. If they're not, they can stay up a bit later. Ronnie's an independent businesswoman who works from home customising shoes and accessories. She's also spent thousands of pounds customising her own looks. I have had a breast uplift and implants, a lip implant, my upper and lower eyes lifted, a facelift. Looks... Got me belly button PS that I'll have you years old. We don't treat them as kids and babies, we treat them as people. It's the day of the swap and the two wives are preparing to leave their homes. They have agreed to have no contact with their families for the next two weeks. Mm, no great <laughs> that's, the, that's the most exciting yeah. to have a long time. <laughs> Looks like a shock to me. Is this it?
Before they meet their new husbands, Ronnie and Raquel have a chance to look around their new homes. It does look as if it needs a woman's touch. There's no bits hanging around that are girls, do you know what I mean? <gasps> no, is it some kind of sanctuary? Of what ornamental value is that? <laughs> I think her dad lives here on his own with the boys. Please don't tell me they're teenage girls. Each wife has left a manual as a guide to running their homes. I'm Ronnie Browse. I'm 48 years old, married with eight kids. Eight kids, 48 years old. My gosh. I was sterilised a year ago, as we do not want any more children. John said it would be easier for me to get it done than him. Well, John would, wouldn't he? I think it's disgusting that you... Structure. There's no discipline, no parenting. John has taught me the importance of discipline, and I consider myself his submissive other half. What's she thinking of this girl? I encourage them to be fashionable. So all the girls except Star have their belly buttons pierced. I think it's abuse. I take John a McDonald's breakfast in bed. He's a total tosser, isn't he? He's a total, total tosser. Oh yeah, Jordan. Hi Jordan, you all right? This is Jai. Hi Jay. Hello, boy. Hello. 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 And I think complete silence and sleep by eight. In Ronnie's home... No, that's OK for a bit, yeah. Just for a little bit. You just want to kill that one? Um, well, I just want to lower that a bit so I can just leave it for a minute on. Right, I won't interfere. I'm finding it really difficult to be nice to him. I feel like kicking him in the balls. You know what I mean? For fuck's sake, look at the camera. We you haven't finished your food. My tummy is full. Well, if your tummy's full, then it's got no room for grapes. Come back and finish up your milk as well, please, Ty. Is he going to get to eat his grapes, is he? Okay. Well, in a case like tonight, it's not entirely fair on him as well because it was slightly big for him, as opposed to what Raquel or I would have dished him up. Obviously, you've got no clue. And you needn't tell me that I'm going to do anything to his specifications because I'm a wife here on loan for one week, one week only. Guys, what are you having? In Ellesmere Port, things are more relaxed as oh, Phil treats more. Raquel to a takeaway in front of the TV. Hello, gorgeous. You're going to sit with me? Oh, please, you'll have fun here and see what it is like to live in Mayhem. any parenting influences. It's probably now quarter to ten. So late. The kids are still up. The discipline in this household, that I can sum it up, there is no discipline. There's no structure for the children. I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. I can't. The challenge is going to be huge for me. Laid-back Ronnie Browse has swapped lives with young traditional mum, Raquel Gelden. That looks like you know what you're about, OK? With new husband... He ...tells me in the manual that every morning she f he doesn't get out of bed till 10 and she fetches the breakfast back with her. I need a poo. All right, then. Let me just shoot out of here, OK? 
he's doing all right, isn't he? Breakfast. We better get this home before it gets cold, because God knows what will happen to me if it's cold. <laughs> Come on. Breakfast. It's not every day she buys herself breakfast. I may also get some breakfast as well. Well, I've been told in the I manual, stick to it. I like it. and I have to stick to the manual yeah. because it's been signed by her and checked. <laughs> yes. Come on. You never clean a turd up. Is that what the manual says, is it? Well, it just says Raquel's job to clean the turds. She doesn't ask the children. I'm appearing here very chauvinist, sort of. I lie in bed, the woman goes and gets the breakfast sort of thing. That's just not how it happens. And, it, and it, it's sort of reflected like that. Well, and I'm I sit there to... and you go and pick up the, the droppings. She, the same as I, has been spoken to and checked this is your manual, basically, and this is how the other wife's going to live. So he needs to speak to her and say, is that the way that you think it up, lovey? Meanwhile, disciplinarian Raquel is attempting to live like liberal Ronnie. Her first task of the day is getting five reluctant kids to school on time. My mum gives me um, 35p for a hot chocolate in the morning. I'll go and get it. That's your usual 35 no, am I running on time? <laughs> Raquel usually likes to stick to her routine, but there are no rules in the browse house. One's out. <gasps> out. This way. <laughs> and that goes for the four dogs too. I think it's gonna catch him. <laughs> oh, Tallulah! Out. Come on. No, oh, you're peeing everywhere. Out! Come on. Right, I want you to stop filming. I'm not doing any of this. This is ridiculous. I can't even get the chance any food. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I've had lack of sleep. It's the first day and I'm already a wreck. <sighs> we'll go and, and pick them up or drop them off. At the Geldens, everything is on hold, as Ronnie and John continue to hammer out every point in Raquel's manual. Raquel had to go into, in, into hospital to have a procedure not so long ago. I mean, I don't send her down. I know she's been sterilised, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah. yeah. But that, that, that was previous. You, know, it's a, you do know that it's a lot easier for a man to be sterilised than it is a woman, don't you? So I beg to get sterilised. Um, she begged to get sterilised and the only reason that they did it on her is because she had other medical conditions. If there was a, a clinic up the road you could go up to and have it done in the lunch break, I'd go and have it done and we'd be double safe. It really doesn't bother me, but what does bother me... ...life is here is by reading what she's left me. Mm -hmm. So really it's unfair to attack me or disbelieve anything I say because Raquel has told me how to live my life here and how she feels living her life here. Just, come in here, come in here. Yeah, come listen, in. listen, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. This is how Raquel feels. This is how she feels. If it is, listen. then she should get a bloody Shh. divorce and I'll be the first listen, one to sign the paper. Listen, listen. At any point... You might think, well, I did not mean to make you feel that way. When it comes to the manual, I, I, you know, I think I've been royally kippered because I, I haven't got a clue what it says in the Moore's manual and collects Tyson and Reese from school. Can I look at this magazine? Yeah. Come on, then. Where's your reading card? Tyson, do you know where this reading record card is? No way, I haven't even seen one. Do you know where this reading record card is? I haven't got a clue. Well, that will be another one of my uh, my faults, probably. Well, I'm just asking you the question. Yeah. See, this you know isn't where it manual, is. is it, you see? So what would we do? I don't know. Basically, I just want to ground it all to a halt if there's going to be any more of these things that are coming out of this manual, because to me... But I have to live by it. I've got to I, do it. I understand this. I, I've got... No, since the first time we've met, because you think I'm some sort of male chauvinist pig because you've read this manual that I'm lying in bed six days a week. I didn't push my wife 
to get sterilized. It was her request, her idea, and we both wanted it. Well, Ronnie was saying, oh, it's easier procedure for a guy to get done. Why did she have to get it done? It is when they're having exploratory surgery six times in three months, and they're in there with bloody cameras and with poles and with clamps and with all sorts all the time, and they're the only one they'll put on the table to do it. Yes, it is. But anyway, stop filming. He's thrown the crew out, all the crew's been thrown out. I don't think he can cope with any of them. And his hair take and his take are two different things. So who's cooking tonight then, Phil? Looks like me again. <laughs> Raquel's had a tough day too, but with all the family now home, things are on the up. I've bought some more anyway. I feel better that everyone's back now. It's the buzz, I suppose, that Ronnie enjoys. I can see where she's coming from with that, being a big family. How do you do the, the road in your house? Everything is literally done <coughs> through me. Because he's the chef in the hours, he said, consider yourself a single mum, and that's the way I've kind oh. of, uh, you know, brought them up. So what's a bird? <laughs> it's a treat to be waited on, <laughs> being cooked for. You know, all I need is the candles now. <laughs> it might be a bit of a breath of fresh air for her to have a bit of company of an evening. Well, that's too dark. <laughs> it will go It's all right when she's rubbing it in, I hope. For dessert, Shannon and Savannah decide to give Raquel a makeover. So, who first taught you to put your makeup on? We you just watched our mum. Does it make you feel more confident? Yeah. yeah. Why? You know, just never go to Why would you think you are you, you haven't got you know self image obsessed? Mm -hmm. They know they haven't got any self confidence, and that's why they choose to wear the makeup. Oh, Maybe the mum needs to build their confidence with Ooh. other things rather than buying a makeup oh, yeah. and covering up. And it's definitely something that I would want to work on with the rule change. I hope. John's picking up um, some kind of experience and to see that maybe just a little bit of uh, treats and to spoil his wife occasionally may work. After some time out, John has agreed to continue with the swap. Oh, right. honey, I'm home. <laughs> All right, boys, did you get dinner? Oh, I could have done you a nice dinner as well. Cheerio. Be good, boys. Bye. See you later. Bye, Bye. Scott. I'm going along with it purely for the basis that I believe Raquel's uh, going to be having a great time. Um, sort of living Ronnie's lifestyle. That sounds fantastic. Um, so I, I wouldn't want to pull the rug from under her. The thing that upset me is the way I'm being uh, told these things in the manual. I'm, I'm sort of thinking, well, maybe Raquel's not happy. But um, she sure, sure hasn't expressed any such views to myself. Time for experience an evening in as Raquel. No more noise, all right? Movie light off. How's that? Perfect. Perfect. I'm bored, Reggie, are you? And I don't get bored. There's nothing here that, that would say to you that a woman lives here, a young woman lives here. A young woman with, with thoughts and kind of ideas and and plans of her own. There's nothing. Jesus. Bonnie's getting on with the chores. The day will be exactly the same as every other day. Being worn down. Pissed off. And um, just carry on being abused all day, basically. Nothing else to do, is there really? That's why she feels that, well, to be honest, if I didn't clean, I wouldn't be doing anything. While Ronnie tends to the domestics, her shoe business is in Raquel's hands. This is a pleasant, pleasant change compared to what I would do at home. Raquel, do you want a sandwich? Yes, please, if you're having one. Phil works at a local... The time with Phil so far, it's nice that... Phil takes the time to sit down and pamper or spoil his wife. Oh, lovely. There you go, miss. <laughs> Thank you. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine, thanks. 
<laughs> <You're> special. <laughs> I think she's quite lonely. You know, when she's at home with her husband because he works all sorts of hours. So in the daytime when the kids aren't there, she's on her own. He could be working right through, maybe from dinner time till midnight or even later. I'd like to sit at home with John in the evenings and uh, being together, I'd like both of us to share all the responsibilities of parenthood. But his work just doesn't give us that, that chance. I think they're looking good now. Look at the flat shoes, I feel all right, bloody. Is that a rule as well? No heels? Um, I never wear heels, she says. I never wear heels. I could go and find you some bloody heels now. Yeah? Go on then. <laughs> You see, they were all in that wicker basket in the lounge. Come on, let's have these stilettos. Um, I don't, I, I'm not au fait with the, the fashion, but ones, I call them knee boots. Yeah. The old leather things with a big black yeah. thing like that. And she's got two sets of uh, things with heels. They're not stilettos. Yeah. They're not. But they are heels. Oh, well, heels. she just says, I never wear heels. I was going to say, the shoes were actually in here initially. I want to believe him, but every time I refer to that manual... Oh God, it's... I don't know, you just think... Oh. All night, and 14-year-old twins, Shannon and Aisha, have been out shopping. I need you all in now, please. This isn't on. The dogs keep running in. Can you hurry up? Thank you. She's like 25, you'd think she'd just go with the flow and have a laugh, but she's not been doing. This is early for me. I don't normally get a bath till after half past nine. It's 20 to 11, they're all still up. Um, so it's a normal household, I suppose. They run around and go to bed late, so they're exactly what I'm about. It's rule change day, and the wives are eager to make their mark. Hopefully they can do their homework in some space. Hello, we're back. Hello, honey. Hiya. Hiya. John, as Raquel, I have felt isolated, unimportant and unseen. Only by experiencing exactly how she feels and just how much she is sacrificing her own life for her jobs. Getting the kids up and dressed. Brecky and school run. Evening meals and evening bathing of the kids. Is Dad happy so far? Right, hang on, just say yay or nay. <laughs> oh, reserve well. judgment. In my household, we do have a few things that we think are most important in running a structured and well-routined house. Bath will start running for Jai and Star at seven o'clock. They should be in the bath before half past seven, washed and ready for bed. Twins, washed and ready for bed for 8.30, okay? Jordan, I have found you a new job as a chef. The hours are now 10 till five daily. So you need to call your boss and tell him that tomorrow you're not coming in and cover has already been arranged for you. No, I don't think so. It's, um, it's, it's not just a job. Um, it, uh, my boss is, is not just um, a, boss. a boss. He is family. It's only a couple of days. It's not that stressful. No. That's a complete no-no. But you wouldn't try to save your wife walking out the door a job for a day. A job for a day, you wouldn't give her a go. Too busy room. doing what John says. Sorry, boys. Room, quickly. I'll come in I'm sorry, boys. You're asking me to, to, to piss on someone who's helped me no, and my family out more agrees. times than you coming in here if three days agrees. doing four or five things and saying, I've lived Raquel's life, I know what she says, I've read a manual that she signed. It, it's bollocks. 
job. It's bollocks. And I don't Who's think... Who's more important than your boss? Them two boys and your wife is more and, Oh, yes, I don't know that. Girls, I would like it if after I've finished that we all go up together and I collect every item of makeup and it'll be kept in my room till the end of the swap. I'm doing this because I'm under such a mask. Okay? Yeah. We're going to make you <laughs> Ronnie mentioned that it appeared that I was put in my job before my wife and children, but um, I, I don't think I can take advice from, you know, s some sort of uh, geriatric, bloody silicon implanted, face pulled woman. That to me is not the sort of values that I want to be learning from. So I don't want Dad to work on Saturday evenings because he will miss all the family time and there's all best TV programmes. And today, is that everything else? Because you're 25, wouldn't have thought you were strict. And the old women do that. For me, this isn't a necessity at all. You're beautiful young girls. But still, so stupid. It's clear that the no makeup rule isn't going down well with the girls, but Raquel does have a lone supporter. Eight-year-old star. My mum should start doing this, you know, like not let the girls have makeup. Looks like a um, tangerine. <laughs> this is how teenagers. Raquel's new bedtime routine is in full swing. Come on, girls. They should be starting to get themselves into bed, please. I don't usually have it this quiet this time of night. It's a bit of a regime. Um, you will do this, you will do that. If you don't, you get punished. Yeah, it's quite for once at this time of night. <laughs> I'd rather have it noisy. Right, I'm coming up. <laughs> Working long hours means John Geldon is rarely up before tennis. Don't forget to wash them dishes. What, like I have all week? Yeah, well, don't forget. Well, you'll... I haven't forgotten well, all week when I was doing Raquel's rules. No when you, stranger you know... to it, then. No, I'm not no stranger to it. You're Shut the stranger up. to it. Shut up! Don't start shouting at me. Don't try and shout me down. John, you're the one, huh? My kids are here. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Would you expect Raquel to speak to you in front of your children like this? Do you think I'm she'd sorry. swear and she'd shout in you front of your children? Do you think she would do that? I no, should... you shouldn't have done it, and you've done it more than once. Should... And if you want me to start shouting, I will do. I'm sorry. Okay, you... thank sorry. you for your apology. I'm sorry. But I shouldn't have to keep bringing I it up. I should not have done it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I'm more than happy to sit in a room, a dark room preferably. Uh, with Ronnie and and you know round one round two all the way to round 15 you know I'm always up for a good slanging match but not in front of my children I really feel you need a bit of a heavy duty cleaner for that Lou despite a difficult start Ronnie is determined to make John do the household chores I'm not responsible for that basically you told me you cleaned the loo the other day I haven't come here to prove what a good cleaner I am what have you come here for? And you weren't doing all the rules. Well, look, that's by the by. It's gone now. Uh -huh. It's my turn now. Yeah. OK? But I'm adhering yeah, to everything. Look, listen, I haven't, yeah, come I haven't on, listen, come here. Not, not taking this. All right, listen. No. I want the iron finding, basically. Yeah. Because well, we, we I'm need I'm not prepared it. to do any of them. I'm oh, just going to... No, I'm going to adopt my Ronnie move and say... You know, I'm just going to disregard everything. It's, it's, it's a bit like bad. the new toilet paper you bought us, actually. Listen. It's the same sort of size. Let me see if it's just as effective. I'm not getting into an argument with you, John. All right, I'm fucking off now, Ronnie. I've got some pointful. No, you've sounded your warning sign and she's going to run off and leave me and whatnot. You're lost, All these bullshit John. rules that you're coming up with have got no fucking substance. And you're, uh, you're walking around like fucking Lady Muck like you did the first week. So I've got shit to do, real shit that's important as opposed to fucking around with your bullshit. Fuck you as well.
As talks hit deadlock with John, Raquel's found an alternative to makeup to boost the Browse girl's confidence. Sound and Savannah, this little. And then we'll put him the sound of rock. Well done. I learned some new dancing moves. I'd like to come back again and meet other people. Digging kids. Encouraged by her success, Raquel continues with her strict regime and gives the kids an hour of homework before dinner. What have you got on? No. Up and wash it off, please, no. I haven't got any. I want to Up and wash it off, please. I want to You're still going to do it, because I, I think you are wearing it. You haven't got any People, please. I'm doing my GCSEs. I know. Not, That's... I'm really tired at the end of the day. They're all tired. Everybody's tired, please. But they're not the ones that are studying for the GCSEs, are they? I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I can't go on. Well, I'll get your father, then. Okay. Phil, could you just come and speak to Jordan about coming to sit down at the table and at least reading something? I don't want to, though, I'll just get a book, I'll just sit there and do nothing, then. Just get a book, stop. Just get a book. I've just book. read. Do you know what? I've just read. Do you know what? If you, if you carry on, it won't be five minutes. Sorry. Just get a book, Ice. I've just read. I just think the kids are taking it really bad, you know, with this homework regime. But I can't see the big deal. Bill. The kids are making a big deal. This has to be in order. Yeah. It's been really disrespectful telling me I'm not an adult. At the end of the day, Raquel took over the mum's role and they should listen to what, the, what she's telling them. I think the new rules are dead good. So you don't need to cry about it or anything. He wasn't crying. Well, Jordan was crying before because he had to do some reading. He tries the best, he's only got two children. Ronnie is still in deadlock. It's horrendous, the atmosphere here, really. Even though you're not speaking to him, he'll storm in and out and pick things up and go back out. I smelled something cooking out there. Was that something for him? Presumed he might be going to feed the children in, in the bedroom there. So basically, he's even he's neglecting his own children here to, to treat me badly. With her rules rejected, it's up to Ronnie to get tea for the kids. Can we have um, fish and chips, please? Here's a sad story about Mum. Dad hasn't been with Mum in eight years for Easter. She hasn't had all the special times except for Christmas. Oh, that is a sad story, Tom. Valentine's Day. He's so busy at work. Is he? That's so sad. So it would be nice for Dad to choose our sauce. Please. Please. The new rules have been a culture shock to the Browse kids. So to calm things down, the boys have gone out, okay. leaving Raquel with the girls. Yeah, the table needs to be undressed before the dogs come in. Oh, oh my God. God. Say, bloody dogs. Stop peeing everywhere. Stop peeing. Oh, God's yeah. sake. Why did you come bring them back? Give me that. If you didn't storm off out there, there was no reason to bring them in until that table was clear. And put her down. So if I went like that, it would break it back like you just did. Because Rocky, we wouldn't like it if you, me mum had done, you know, if me mum had done that to her dog. And what if she was a dog? I truly feel that half the time I've been a living babysitter to a bunch of hormones. I think Ronnie just tolerates her bad behaviour because she can't deal with the uproar. I think that is so wrong. Hiya. Hiya. 
Would I be able to have a chat with you in a minute? Tonight's been very upsetting for me. I'm gonna have to have a word with her because it's go up and have a word. Okay. I'm sorry about before. What did you do before? I argued back because you chucked the dog. Can I go now? If that's honestly all you have to say to me, then that's must be it. She's laughing it off again. She's not being serious. That's just half-hearted. That's no point of coming down at all. I don't know what she wanted me to do with Channel. She doesn't get the kids. But they're going to take it seriously. And what is the point? Just want to get home. Raquel's up early okay, okay, and she's yes. come to a decision. I'm going to leave today. I'm going to miss you all. I don't want to be forcing you to keep doing it. <laughs> Including you, Shannon. But I definitely know that your mum would be treated with some respect from my kids. Has <sighs> anybody got anything to say about it? Oh, come on. I think she needs to chill out. She's 25. She's an adult, you all know. And you should respect her. I think that Shannon and I should and Jordan should start behaving and then she would want to stay and we all start playing up for her and everything. You know, Shan, you're sitting there with a smirk on your face all the time. With only one day left to go, Raquel leaves the Browse household. I just feel let down, really. Not by her. Uh, and I feel... Yeah, well, I'm a okay. bit gutted. I miss her already. I miss her once she stepped foot out the door. I've grown in confidence with who Raquel is and her views and values. So I'm happy for that. So... Hats off to them, they've made me suddenly see myself in a different light. I hope John's missed me and he actually realises how much... ...into a hotel for the night, John and Ronnie finally call a truce. It's the final day in the house and um, I suppose we've got to, you know, take advantage of it being the final day. Ketchup. Could we have a cup of tea? Yeah. yeah. Are you buying this? Oh, I'll buy you a cup yeah. of tea. It's going real well. Not scared to ask him for a cup of tea. Just ask him for a cup of tea. Um, he's quite, you know, he's loosened up a little bit. Oh, It's not been with my mum for Valentine, for birthday, for Easter, and he reeled off a load of time. Yeah, important dates, yeah. That he, yeah. you hadn't been together. How would he have noticed that at his age and been able to tell me how sad, how sad Ronnie, he said, is that? Some of what Ronnie said, I hope to take away how Raquel feels. Perhaps I don't uh, show her um, and remark to her um, exactly how much I appreciate what she does. A lot of that stuff can get taken in, you know, e even to my thick head, I can absorb that. I hope for a lot more, really, but if I can just go away on speaking terms. <laughs> oh, would you like a kiss from me? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Be good for your mum and dad, won't you? We will. It's the final day of the swap, and the wives are going home.
Okay. I've been totally emotionally and mentally abused all week, basically, I have, totally. Raquel, girl, you need a medal, seriously. The boys would tell me, this is so sad, you know, Ronnie. For eight years, my dad has not been with my mum for any special occasions. I love John and I will stick by him. And I am always there, whether I'm lonely or not. I know we both sac we, we sacrifice things because we love each other. Don't do it, because you must have gone through that manual with a fine tooth comb, because I know I did. I know I've said some things within th my lifestyle that I'm not happy about, but I've had time throughout this swap to stand back and think, actually, I'm grateful for what we've got and it will make us stronger. It actually did state in the manual that I did, I don't wear makeup. That's if a personal you really preference choice. choice. I don't wear makeup because I don't hide behind a mask. I'm confident with the person that I am, physically. No, Raquel, you're not. I am, and you're not the one to tell me old. And you allowed them to cover themselves up with makeup. And get tattoos from what be I've been told. Allowed to be children and not to be given makeup off you. I'd call taking my nine year old to get piercing abuse. Before I came here, I knew that my worst nightmare would be Raquel saying it doesn't happen and everything's rosy in the garden. I'd say our life isn't rosy at times. Oh. We do have our moments. Jo yes. yes, John is a disciplinarian yeah, and he does discipline me. Today. Our children respect years. us and they'll always yeah. turn around and they will say we love mummy and daddy. <clears throat> Shannon didn't treat me with respect at all and she was adamant she did me. They are because they are not. They respect adults, they didn't respect the control freak. Shannon respects every adult, but it was a clash of personalities and she didn't like the control. We have to set guidelines results. for our children now because categorically, I don't want them ending up like yours, staying up all hours of the night. She's got five, five, five daughters which are all of childbearing age and none of them is a single mother, so she must be doing well. You dare! You dare say that about my girls! Hello. You dare! What, the ones with the tattoos and the piercings? You dare question my girls like that. They do. They you dare, lady! You... Yeah. F*** it. <laughs> Tallulah! Do you know? Oh, she's peeing all over the floor. I've missed my family and I've missed our routine. And I'm glad to be back and tomorrow it's the military way. <laughs> <laughs> have you missed Mummy? Yep. Where's she been? I have to... Who's in the kitchen? Do you know what, girls? Please! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm retarded. Look what you are. I'm I may go to a retarded school, but I'm not retarded. A month on from the swap, and it's business as usual in the Browse house. There's no rules that have been kept here. We go to bed before the kids, and the kids are in their own rooms watching the TV and kicking hell out of each other. However, one of Raquel's ideas has had a lasting impact on Savannah and Star. The girls go dancing. That's all you hear about all week is the dancing, the dancing, the dancing. It's given us freedom and it's getting us more friends. But there have been bigger changes in Exeter. One of Ronnie's influences is to work for myself. So I've now started to um, run my own cleaning business. And cleaning's one of the things that I do at home anyway, so it's my best skill. Raquel is also taking more interest in her appearance. Once I had the piercing, I realised that it was something that I felt liberated. And I do think it's a youthful thing to do. It's partly to do with the Browse family. <laughs> it's shock, John. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of piercings anywhere especially Be facial yeah <laughs> facial face, ears it? metal three years it just it's something that happens in an accident tina oh that's you 
Raquel's piercing isn't the only thing the couple see differently. I didn't learn anything from the swap. I don't, I don't think I'm spending any more time with the family than I was before. I think whatever time you have got with the family, you're putting a bit more effort into it than what you used to. Uh, you start. You haven't gained anything out of it. I definitely have. But if you can't take that and use it as an experience, then you're going to struggle. Because that's the whole point of the programme. It's an experience. <laughs> we <laughs>